Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and clean and, and replace a mass airflow sensor. Uh, mass airflow sensors are in many of your modern-day cars, computer-controlled cars. I guess they, I would guess they get date back into the 80s and uh, or in some of your new cars. And uh, most cars either have a mass airflow sensor or they have a MAP sensor. The purpose of these sensors is to monitor the air pressure and flow in the car and communicate that to the computer so that the computer knows how much fuel to mix in the combustion chamber and a lot of times these map and mass math filters or sensors uh, communicate uh, with your throttle body or throttle plate throttle body switch so here goes nine times out of ten when you deal with these things it's because you're uh, having some kind of error code and the error code I'll post in the in the notes for most of your math problems. But uh, when you have a math problem, the first thing you should do is try to clean it. And then if that doesn't work, you go ahead and replace it. Now, they have a special cleaner for mass airflow sensors. And this is it, mass airflow sensor cleaner. Do not spray carb cleaner on it. Do not spray brake cleaner on it or nothing like that because that will likely damage the sensor. Now. The sensors are normally right behind your air box. So here's the sensor here. That's the wire plug going into it. And it's right behind your air filter. So it's real important to keep your air filters clean. Now there's three ways to do this. I'm going to go ahead and show you one at a time. These are the tools you need to remove the sensor. 7 millimeter socket will take the large clamp loose. A quarter inch driver to function those sockets. A T25 driver to take the uh, sensor apart from the uh, air box and then your MAV sensor cleaner if you want to clean it and try to keep it alive. The tools in the blue are uh, specialty tools that you need if you want to try to take the sensor apart while it's still on the car. Okay, I was able to find the bit, the special tool to get this MAV sensor apart. And it is, I found it at Peep Boys. It's tool number 9685. It's a T25 five point uh, tamper proof bit. It's a quarter inch drive. As you can see, it's got the little hole in it. And uh, you take this bit off and you put it on a quarter inch driver, whether a screwdriver or a um, ratchet, and you can get this MAV sensor apart. I'm not sure if there's any other MAV sensor cleaner. I haven't seen any, but make sure it says Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner. Don't spray this thing with anything else. Just with that, anything else may damage it, and then you may not be able to uh, use it. And uh, like I said, these sensors are like 200 bucks, so you don't want to damage them. Now, the three ways to do it is one, you can open up the air box, spray down through there. You can remove the air tube on the back side of it, spray down through there. You can remove the sensor as a unit. And then, thirdly, you can re remove the specific sensor component, which is a little harder because in some cars you need a special tool to do that. So, let's go ahead and do those one at a time. The uh, best and easiest way to clean it would be if you had a special tool so you would come to your math airflow sensor you would unplug it grab the plug and unplug it and then you would take the two screws out of the housing of it and these are special torque screws that they put in there they're called security screws because they have a pin in the middle of them so you can't just stick a bit down in there now this one here actually has a star bit in them six point but the last one I just removed they wanted to make it more difficult 
So they actually put a five point bit in it. And it's a T25 uh, five point bit. So this one is looks like a T26 point bit. At any rate, you put the special bit on there, remove it, and then you wedge a screwdriver or something in there. It has a little a hole or a slot right here that you can see. You put a screwdriver in there, you pry that apart, you pull that sensor out, and then you spray it. So I'll show you what it looks like pulled apart. So if you have one of these special bits, it makes it a lot easier to get this uh, screw out of it. If you want to take it off while it's still on the car, you take the bit, put it on the screwdriver, stick it in that hole, and as you can see, those screws have that stud in the middle of them, so they call that tamper-proof or security. So I looked all over town for this thing and couldn't find one. So you got to make sure you get one if you want to do it this way, which is the easy way. Once you pull both screws out of it, it has a couple of slots. One on this side and one on the other side that you pry a flat tip screwdriver in and pull it out. So then that's what the sensor looks like once you get it out of the casing of the mass sensor casing so next you would want to do is spray it with MAV sensor cleaner so whether you have it apart like this or it's still in the casing you want to spray a little bit of that sensor cleaner on there three or four seconds and once you spray it uh, both directions then just let it dry and that stuff will evaporate real quick and you'll be done with it. Alright, the second way to do it is to open up your air box and spray it through your air box. So your air box has clips on it. You remove these clips around the air box. Once you get the clips removed, you can lift the air box open. You got to make sure it's loose the whole way around. And once you lift the top of the air box open, uh, you should be able to see the sensor inside there, but be careful when you when you lift it up that you don't uh, crimp or damage any tubes or anything on there. So I had three clips around the bottom, three clips around the front, and one clip on the side. Now my air box comes open. This is also a good time to check your air filter to make your air fil make sure your air filter is clean. I have a, some of these air boxes have uh, vacuum tubes on the back of them. But this one, as you can see, my air filter's in here. This is a good excuse or reason to check your air filter, make sure it's clean, because it's your first line of defense against getting your mass airflow sensor and keeping it clean. Now, once you have your air box open, you can look down in there and see your mass airflow sensor through that crate. That crate is designed to keep large debris off of it and your air filter is designed to keep small debris off of it. So you grab your spray, you spray down in there, just a few seconds, try to get both sides of the sensor and then you can close it up and see if it works. Now, a lot of times they say spraying this as a maintenance uh, item or precaution will help keep it serviceable and help keep it uh, functioning at peak performance, which will help save you gas. So, while you have that box open, you wanna check your air filter. If your air filter hadn't been changed in the recommended mileage in your car, go ahead and change that. If you got one like I do, that's a reusable clean one, you can determine if it needs to be cleaned at that point. This also be a good time to look down in your box and see what kind of dirt is getting sucked up in your air intake and vacuum that out if you want as well. So after you've sprayed the sensor, go ahead and put your air filter back in place, close and secure your box, and see if that uh, fixes your problem by clearing your coat, starting your car up, and see if, it, see if it works. A lot of times spraying your sensor is just a temporary fix. Last but not least uh, is to remove the sensor as an entire unit. 
Now to do that, the first thing you want to do is take this clamp loose. That's normally a seven millimeter. Put a seven millimeter on there. Take that clamp loose until it slides down your air tube. And that air tube is on that mass airflow sensor very tight. So this is uh, normally a little bit of a challenge, but it does come off. It may come off if it's a little warm. So a warm engine may be a better time to do this, but really this part is not that warm. Well, once you get the clamp loose, you grab the hose with both hands and you put a lot of your body weight in it, wiggle it up and down until you get it to pop off of the back of the airflow sensor. And the uh, airflow sensor has a ridge on it on that side, so that hose will come over that ridge and pop off. So this is another sensor here. So once you get that sense that hose off of that sensor, then you take a T25 and come on this side of the sensor. This is the user removal side. You have a screw here and you have a screw on the other side. So you take a screwdriver, um, a T25, I believe it is. It may be a T20. And you unscrew those two screws. And when you do that, the mass airflow sensor will slide out of the top of the air box. And you'll have the sensor in your hand like this. And then your sensor will have a big fat rubber band type uh, seal right there sometimes it sticks in the air box sometimes it comes off with the sensor at any rate you want to check that make sure that's in good condition and then you'll be able to see the sensor that way and see the sensor on the back side so that you can clean it so you want to follow the instructions on the can Spray it. I normally just spray it five or ten seconds on each side. And if you see dust in your tube there, you can spray that down as well. Word to the wise. Do not stick your finger or anything else in the housing of that sensor. Uh, these sensors at the dealer, they're about $325. If you find them aftermarket somewhere, they're 200 bucks. If you find them at the salvage yard, they're anywhere from $25 to, to $40 used. At any rate, if you stick your finger or something down in there, those plates inside there are very, very fragile. And I could tell you from experience, ask me how I know, you can break those pretty easy. Okay, this is an example of what happens when you stick your hand down in there or a finger or a paper towel or anything trying to clean the dust out of there I actually just tapped uh, one of those sensor tips with my finger and it broke right off and now this sensor is destroyed and it's trash and it don't work so don't stick anything down there it's not worth it uh, just spray down in there if that doesn't fix it replace it so once you get it clean sprayed put back together, uh, reset your codes, and hopefully it'll all work out for you. If you got any questions, go ahead and post them. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.